A bridge construction project in the North Country wraps up, ending lawn detours for many people trying to get between Plattsburgh and Keysville. North Country reporter Matt Lawfer has the details. The project started in April, but Carpenter's Flat Bridge has been completely closed since July for reconstruction. The bridge, originally built in 1941, has been a main link between Clinton and Essex counties for over 80 years. We rehabbed a truss bridge. It was originally built back in the early 40s. Uh, obviously, then it's been in service for around 80 years. Um, it's served us well and will continue to do so. The bridge is on the, the historic register, and uh, we had an opportunity to save it, rehab it, put it back in service, and we, we did so happily. So uh, well, we hope it will continue to be a landmark for that area for another 100 years. One of the main goals of the nearly $6 million project, mitigating dangerous ice jams. Luck Brothers Construction worked with DOT to raise the bridge. We raised the bridge around three and a half feet. That area is prone to flooding and ice jams. And over the years, we've had that bridge closed uh, during the spring when the ice breaks up. And um, we would have uh, pack ice impacting the lower core of the bridge. Never pushed it off its bearings. Um, the bridge was closed from, uh, as a precaution. You know, it was always a cause for concern. Now the bridge being raised, um, hopefully those concerns are, are alleviated and gone. As of Tuesday morning, the bridge has reopened to traffic. We're just pleased that folks are patient uh, with the rehab, and uh, we hope that will continue to be a signature bridge on Route 9 for, for another century. During construction, the detours added roughly 20 minutes of drive time between Peru and Keysville, so the people I talked to were thrilled to see the project finished. In Plattsburgh, Matt Lawfer, ABC 22 News.